your mind about? How do you need to change your thinking? Whether it's something that you've been saying you don't like or that you can't do or you shouldn't do or it's just not going to work out. What is it in your life that you need to change your mind about? You have 60,000 thoughts a day and 80% of them are negative. So what are you saying to yourself about yourself? Because that inner dialogue, that inner communication is the fundamental foundation of everything you do and everything you don't do. But oftentimes it's the last thing you think about, if you think about it at all. How often do you think about what you think about? If you're like most people, you think the same way that you've always thought and you keep doing the same things that you've always done. If you've ever felt you're not smart enough, move your body. Like, have a seat. Awesome. If you ever thought, I don't know how. If you ever felt rejected. If you ever thought, I don't have enough experience. Have you ever thought they might not like me? Have you ever thought I don't have enough time? Have <laughs> you ever thought I don't get paid enough for this? Because <laughs> we don't identify and we're not aware of how these thoughts are directly impacting us when in fact everything is directly intertwined. So meaning that if you feel that you're not good enough, that's going to hurt your relationships. If you have lower confidence in a situation, that's gonna keep you from taking action. One of the things that we found is one of the biggest impacts of those negative thoughts is on our confidence. And confidence comes from doing, not being. Meaning that the area of your life that you want the most confidence in is usually also the area of your life that you're too scared to go out and do, which keeps you from building confidence in that specific area. It all lies within you. But oftentimes what happens is we forget that. You have a refrigerator, that thing that you want to achieve, those goals, those dreams, those ambitions, but oftentimes you forget about the power within you. You say, I can't do that. What if I fall off? What if I make a mistake? What if I hit my head? And so you talk yourself out of it. Or you may just say, I just want to climb the refrigerator. I don't want to have to jump off the couch to begin with. Just get me to the end result. Last night when I was talking to Demetria, if you haven't had the pleasure of meeting her and hearing her story, it's incredibly fascinating. She said, and I'm paraphrasing, that when she first got involved with this organization, she got up the first year and said, next year I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak at that event. And she said, I don't know where that came from. I've never spoken. I'm not a public speaker. So sometimes we have to declare it out to the universe of what we want, and then the universe finds a way to make it happen. Because not only did that happen for her the next year, her expectations and her dreams have multiplied because of the organization. Because she took a stand and declared it, not even knowing why she said it or where it came from. So what is it inside of you that you need to declare to the universe to say, I'm gonna do that? Because it's not your responsibility and your job to know how it's going to happen, to know all of the steps to get to that refrigerator. It's just your job to say yes to putting your feet on the couch. Just that first step of being brave and courageous. I encourage you, A, to just accept the acknowledgement and the appreciation but also know that when you're giving that acknowledge and appreciation out to other people, you're also going to get it back. And so throughout the day today, when you're in the hall, you can go up to a complete stranger, give them an arm bump or a hip bump. Can you imagine walking down the hall and going, hey, you're a rock star. <laughs> Have you ever worked with a negative Nancy or a toxic Tim and you park your car? You park your car and you're walking through the parking lot and you're like, ah, 
their cars here. It's going to be one of those days. Your brain is constantly talking to you, and it's going to listen to whatever you're saying to it. So if you say, I'm a bad leader, your brain will validate that. And it'll say, yeah, look at your background. You have no experience. Your team doesn't like you, and your kids don't listen. And you may say, well, what do my kids have to do with anything? Well, your brain will connect un seemingly unrelated dots and validate it. It'll say, well, in order to take a shower last night, you had to ask your kids three times to do it. Failure. But if nothing changes, everything remains the same, and the only thing that changes is what you say, and you say, I'm a great leader, your brain will validate that too. It'll say, look at your background, awesome. You have incredible experience. Your team loves you, and your kids listen to you. In order to take a shower last night, you had to ask them only three times to do it. <laughs> Success! As you leave here, you know the first step, the first thing you need to do to climb your refrigerator. So I want you to think of a situation in your life where you want more confidence. Because what happens a lot of times is when we want more confidence in that specific area, we don't present ourselves as though we do. But when we change our physiology, it changes our psychology. When we have our shoulders back, our head up, we feel different. We feel like that we can go out there and do anything. And give yourself permission in your brain to process the information that you're going to get. And not just write down in notes and never look at it again because then change won't happen. And you're here to create change within yourself but also create that ripple effect. Whether it's within your family, your organization, your team, your friends. And the more that you identify what you need to change within yourself, the bigger the ripple effect that you can create. So that one action that you vote down that you're going to do, it all begins with that. Oftentimes, you forget too. You forget that you have the power within you. You forget that you're empowered, that like Demetria, you can say it to the universe, and it won't just happen, but it'll happen so much bigger. So how do you need to change your thoughts to create that change? You can be the change. You are the change. Thank you for having me.